We can't see UVB, so we need to come up with a different way of understanding how light comes off the bulb. Luckily, it works just like a flashlight. Light from the flashlight is most intense at the bulb, and then it dissipates as it goes off in a widening cone. Now, our linear fluorescent bulbs are not just one point of light. It's actually a long tube of light, and so that light is going off in 360 degrees around the tube, and that's why we get a reflector, so we don't lose that energy. Though we do have to acknowledge that whenever it goes through a screen, that will filter out some of the light. Some of the standard screen cages that we have out there have a 70% transmission, which means 30% of the light is being filtered out. So we do want to work with the most light energy that we can. The concept that I'd like you to take away from this talk today is that the light coming off of the bulb is going to be very intense close to the bulb, but then it's going to dissipate in a gradient. And so our job is to figure out where within that gradient we want our chameleon exposed. And we then put our basking branch there so the chameleon can be in the right levels of UVB. And this is very relevant for us chameleon keepers because our chameleons will crawl upside down along the screen and so they will be close to that bulb. We want to make sure that they're not getting too high of UVB. So the next episode, I'm going to go into what levels of UVB our chameleons need. Follow Chameleon Academy for the entire series, and I will see you tomorrow.